Hello, this is Alex on Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly Briefing. Here's the news from the last week of May. Naver unveils Korea's supersized AI Hyper Clova. During the Naver AI Now conference held online on May 25th, Naver announced the achievements and future direction of Naver AI technology after introducing the supercomputer in October last year. In the keynote speech, Naver Clova CIC CEO Jung seok said, as global technology conglomerates are waiting to see the explosive innovation that large AI models will bring, they are making more investments. For Korea's AI technology to take the lead in the global platforms, we determined that we have to do more than just utilizing and catching up with the open technology that has already been revealed. Supersized AI is high-performance artificial intelligence that requires supersized servers, data, and manpower. Naver emphasized that it will lead the era of AI for everyone by presenting new and different experiences to users, SMEs, and creators through Hyperclova, which changes the paradigm of Korean AI. Next up, Ozine Robotics opens a new paradigm in butcher shop operation with an AI-based unmanned solution. The unmanned solution specialist company Ozine Robotics recently partnered with premium meat brand Meat King and opened an unmanned butcher shop in mid-May. Odin Robotics introduced the Heimdall Unmanned 365, equipped with the latest technology in AI and IoT. The company showcased a technology which can automatically detect abnormal temperatures of refrigerators. The prototype of this technology was recently released, and when the entrance or the refrigerator door of a Heimdall Unmanned 365 is opened for a prolonged period of time, or if the temperature is abnormal, the alarm is set off automatically. To reduce the damage of products and any losses from damage, the system enables detection of the products that have been left out for too long. Also, users can manage the store in real time by using an application which detects the entry and exit of customers. It even detects loitering and other abnormal activities or behaviors that can occur in unmanned stores. By using Odin's robotic state-of-the-art AI automated unmanned store technology, Meat King is anticipating a new wave in unmanned butcher shops. For our third story, public-private joint next-gen advanced base metaverse alliance launches in Pangyo. The Ministry of Science and ICT said to make a digital new deal and lead the metaverse era to build the foundation with a virtual convergence economic development strategy, we have formed an alliance in which the private companies lead the project and the government supports it. The ministry will pursue various support plans based on the results presented by the alliance and focus especially on supporting the building of the open metaverse platform to vitalize the metaverse ecosystem. To do this, the ministry will join hands with NIPA, the National IT Industry Promotion Agency, to stimulate work on joint metaverse projects in the metaverse hub to support growth, create and test contents, and train developers for metaverse companies. Jo Gyeong Sik, the second vice minister of the Ministry of Science and ICT, said, Metaverse is not a space that is monopolized by a big company. It is rather a space where multiple companies and subjects coexist and make something together. The private led Metaverse Alliance will become the center of cooperation. Next on the agenda, SK Bioscience stacks up to 200 billion won for development costs for COVID vaccines. This additional fund will be used for multinational phase three clinical trials and licensing, development of commercial processes with annual production of large batches and introduction of related raw materials, and additional R&D to prepare for the variants with the GBP510 vaccine. GBP510 is a candidate for the COVID-19 vaccine jointly developed by SK Biosciences with the Institute for Protein Design at the University of Washington. The company began with phase one and two clinical trials at the end of last year and is currently working on stage two of phase two. SK Bioscience will submit an investigational new drug or IND application for multi-country phase three clinical trials to get approval from authorities such as the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety in Korea. It aims to commercialize it by the first half of next year through streamlined licensing processes such as emergency use authorization. GBP510 was selected for CEPI or the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations Wave 2 project last year. So when commercialized, it will be supplied to the world, including to underdeveloped countries in Africa, South America, and Southeast Asia through COVAX. Anjay Young, 
The president of SK Bioscience said CEPI's full support for GBP510 proves the technical level and potential value of this vaccine candidate. We will take the lead in ending the pandemic by supplying enough of this vaccine to the world by completing the development of the vaccine that can cover the variants and by building more factories. And for our last main story of this week, we made promises to jump to a virtual asset company. We made recorded the highest quarterly sales in the first quarter of 2021 since its establishment. The sales figure was 76 billion won and the operating profit was 27.5 billion won in the first quarter, up 147% and 755% respectively compared to the same period last year. The company explained that this performance was driven by Mir 4. Launched last year, Mir 4 contributed to the company's sales by earning 45.6 billion won in the first quarter alone. With the long litigation battle with a Chinese game company that used Mir IP without permission about to end, we made really only began having time to focus on the game last year. CEO Zhang Hyunguk plans to continue the upward trend of earnings through continuous investment in new technologies such as blockchain technology. In a conference call held shortly after the announcement of the first quarter 2021 performance results, he said, this first quarter is very meaningful as we had the best performance since the establishment of WeMade. Our future will be paved by following the current trend by evolving into a metaverse and virtual asset company. And to round up the news stories of the week with a couple of short stories, we're starting off with the first one, Shinhan Financial Group opens digital innovation development platform in Pangyo. Shinhan Financial Group opened its official office of the total online digital platform in Pangyo, Gyeonggi-do. Next up for our short news bits, Gyeonggi-do opens a fair M&A support center for startups in Pangyo. The Gyeonggi Fair M&A Support Center, which will help startups in Gyeonggi-do to navigate M&As in a fair environment and successfully recover investments in the case of an exit, kicked off with an opening ceremony at the Pangyo Startup Campus on May 13th. Next up, Nexon opens the industry's largest knowledge sharing conference, NDC, and shares its IT know-how. Nexon will open the 14th NDC or NDC 21, the largest online knowledge sharing conference in the gaming industry starting from June 9th to discuss technology know-how and issues about the trends in the industry. That's it for this week for the Pangyo Techno Valley News Briefing. I'm Alex Sigrist and we'll see you next week.